Hey guys, what's up? Alrighty, so today's vlog is an interesting one. I think it is anyway. I'm right above sunset. So if you look down there, it's a sunset strip. And I'm just up here and I wanna tell you a story today about Diane Linkletter. Okay, that was Art Linkletter's daughter. And I wanna tell you what happened and show you where it happened. Uh, it's an interesting uh, story because there are some questions that remain unanswered. So let's go take a look. I'll show you the building. I'll show you where it happened and we'll check it out. Let's go. Alrighty. So I'm at Shoreham Towers here in West Hollywood. And it's here where our next story takes place. Now it's a sad one, but it's one that I want to tell you. It's one that had some questions around it and uh, it, uh, it was well publicized at the time. Now, I'm on Shoreham Drive in West Hollywood and we're at the Shoreham Towers. It's a condos that tons and tons of celebrities have lived at or live in. Uh, David Lee Roth, Neil Sedaka, are two who currently um, supposedly have units in the building. But it's Diane Linkletter, an actress and the daughter of Art Linkletter that I'm here showing you this building. See, she was an actress who appeared in a sketch on the Red Skeleton Show. And as mentioned, she was the youngest child of Art Linkletter. She traveled with her dad to, to Europe to even perform with the troops. Well, this is where the story gets really sad. See, on October 4th, 1969, at 9 a.m., Linkletter jumped out of the sixth floor window right here at Shoreham Tower. And I'm going to show you the window, and I'm going to show you approximately uh, where they found her. Now, people in the buildings right across the street, some even witnessed what happened. Alrighty, let's go take a look. This is the Shoreham Towers home to many celebrities. Alrighty. So the story brings us here to this side of the building. Now, if you count up one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, approximately right so two, four, six. So just above that window right there, right there, just above the pole. That is the window that leads to the kitchen. Now, she fell to her death right here. But there was a lot of question regarding what had happened that morning. Now, she was taken to Hollywood receiving and then USC Medical Center, but she ended up dying of her injuries. Hopefully I don't get sprayed by the sprinkler here, but okay, we'll uh, continue telling the story. The sprinklers are all coming on guys, so sorry about that. Now, the kitchen window faces the front road and people in the buildings, like I said, had witnessed what had happened. But that is it. That is the building right above the pool. Now, as I had said, uh, she was taken to, um, to USC Medical Center, first Hollywood receiving, and then USC Medical Center, and she ended up dying of her injuries. Now, her father immediately blamed her death on LSD. The person who was with her, Ed Durston, said he tried to grab her. But she jumped. Now, interestingly enough, Ed Durston was the director of the Charles Manson inspired movie, I Drink Your Blood. Now, Ed Durston was also the last person to see actress Carol Wayne alive 16 years later after they had an argument. But all that aside, the next day, Art Linklater held a press conference to say that her death was not self inflicted and blamed it on the makers of LSD.
But here is the interesting thing. The coroner tested her blood and it came back clean. No drugs or alcohol in her system. She was completely clean. Now, did she jump? Was she pushed? Art Linkletter went on later and said it must have been an acid flashback. But, you know, it just leaves so many unanswered questions for this. Like, why did it happen? Now, the police investigated and they interviewed Ed Durston, who told them she was upset the night before and had asked him to come over. He arrived at 3 a.m. and they stayed up talking. She was buried October 7, 1969 at Forest Lawn. But it all happened right here, right out of that window in this celebrity filled apartment landed right out here there's the pole and this is the Shoreham Towers like I said <clears throat> beautiful building right here in West Hollywood a block from from the Sunset Strip and it all happened right here Alrighty guys, I'm glad I got to tell you the story of Diane Linkletter. It's a sad one. Just all the circumstances around it are, are very sad. And there are questions about what happened, but it's just a story that, uh, uh, you know, it's very sad. But there are questions un unanswered. So I appreciate you watching. Subscribe. Let's go on more adventures together. I'll do more true crime locations, celebrity graves, filming locations, landmarks. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.